So I DM'd you on Twitter and Instagram because we faced off in fantasy. And I wanted to do something funny, like if you lost me, like you would have to hold up a funny fan sign and you didn't check your DM. Or maybe you did, I don't know. I, I get so many DMs, so I, I lose Oh my time. goodness. <laughs> He doesn't care about Michelle Ryan. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. I actually think I lost you that week. I'm sure I did. As soon as Cooper Cup went down, my league went to trash. Yeah, I, I, I was mediocre all season. Yep. Okay, are you going to answer your DMs now? Now that you know who I am? <laughs> I'll try. Okay, no promises. <laughs> He cold. Yeah, Frank ain't no simp. He don't care about Michelle Ryan. Apparently, Michelle Ryan's a f***ing star. But Frank don't look like he gives a shit about her or her fantasy team. He just wants to keep working. The man's so focused that even if you slide in his DMs, he's not going to reply. We should all be as focused as Frank. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. So if I'm in the club and I see someone I like, I'll just like look over, give them like the two-second look. So she's dull. <laughs> <laughs> Falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Boring! Day one of doing Ramadan in support of our Muslim boyfriends. What? So. I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, but that simply can't run. Your Muslim boyfriend, bro, his whole family don't know you exist. You don't exist to, to him or anyone. He don't know you anymore. He's done. He's finished. Kalas, you're done. The time I faked a proposal to get bottomless champagne the whole flight. <laughs> But uh, two and a half years ago, uh, Lisa and I met on the airplane flying to New York City. Um, every moment since then has been absolutely magical. You're the most beautiful woman I know inside and out. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Aliza, wow. will you marry me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> The average size of a is three to five inches. So as long as you've got three inches, or at least, you know, you're good to go. And if you have three inches and your woman doesn't feel that, then the problem is not you. Let's fucking go! Tell me if I... If I... I mean, she did ask for it, literally. And before you think he's actually being a horrible person, these guys, they always joking with each other. They're always taking the piss. This girl can take a joke. There are some women that you will never be that guy to. That's a fact. That's a fact. No, no matter what you, yeah, do, yeah. what you do, you will never be that guy. And, and and you'll try to force it. You'll try to make it work. But but when you know and you've experienced a woman where you're that guy to her, she really admires you. You know what you, it feels like. Yeah, you know what it feels yeah. like. Yeah, stop trying to be that guy for a woman that doesn't want you. Stop wasting your time. Stop chasing women that don't want you. It's a waste of energy. Stop chasing people who are leaving. Stop chasing people who don't get it. Stop chasing trying to get back in your life. People that God is trying to take out of your life. Let them go. Is it that you can convince us that our privacy is not at risk? And more than that, our kids' privacy is not at risk in this country. In my opening statement. Thank you, Madam General. So this is a clip of the TikTok CEO testifying at Congress. And I've seen a few clips and every single clip I've seen, they're asking the dumbest questions or they're just repeating the same questions, which is why I reacted like that. He seemed to deal with the questions quite well, but I reckon he should have hired this guy. Who's responsible for all these fools in the street? You? Yes. Okay. You, That's Hayes. my point of information. Who are you talking to? I am to? talking to you. Right Mr. now, Hayes. you done got me a new point of information. Who are you lecturing and talking Ooh. to? Wow. That ain't your job to talk. I want order. Oh. <laughs> Y'all want to talk business or some other shit? Damn, damn, damn. It's a bunch of bull. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? Um, a ten. I'm a ten. You think other people would agree? Yeah. What would you rate this girl on a scale of one to ten? She like a solid seven and a half. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? Uh, I'd give myself like a seven. You think other people would agree? Seven. Yeah, I think so. What would you rate this guy on a scale of one to ten? Um, he's like a six. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? A ten. You think other people would agree? Yes. Are you sure about that? What would you rate this girl on a scale of one to ten? 
About a three. A three? Yeah. I feel like if you ask most girls with fake hair, fake eyelashes, fake nails, what they rate themselves out of 10, they're always going to say a 10. I don't know what they're seeing in the mirror, but it's not what everyone else is seeing. When her parents ask what sparked your interest in our daughter. She had the fat ass, son. I mean, it was like... The person you talk to right now, you think you're the only person talking to them? Absolutely not. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, it might be tough, but it's also reality, and it's good he understands that. Because like I've said before, there's so many average girls these days that have their DMs full with a bunch of guys trying to message them. So unfortunately, when you're speaking to a girl, don't think you're the only guy. A lot of the time, you're not. Personally, if I suspected that, I'd just dead it. I'm not going to try and compete with a bunch of other guys for an average woman. heard that correctly. Your boyfriend should be the only guy that you are following. So press it. It's going to be okay. Press it. That unfollow button is not going to be the cause of your death. I'm sorry. Dora, <laughs> you're done exploring. <laughs> this might be me, but if we in an argument and then you get to start posting pictures on your story of you looking like a whole snack, now you just created a whole other argument because what is you doing? That's what we on? I bet. To all those guys in those last clips talking about social media, if you're of a woman that keeps using social media to get at you or to play little games, then dead it. That's not a real relationship or a real woman. That's what little children do. They play games. And social media is a new tool to do that. And then if you start doing it, you're just going down to their level. Sometimes I forget that the world is a dangerous place. Aiden and I just decided to walk around and look at Christmas lights while we were at this baby shower. Aiden didn't want to sit there. It's dark out. We could get murdered or kidnapped. Bad mom. <laughs> oh, you think she likes you? Well, has she shown you her baby name list in her iPhone? Yeah, yeah, she did. It was kind of weird, though. Uh, they're all dude names, so I'm assuming she's just gonna get a boy. Yeah, they had numbers next to them, too. Right, apart from that, when I heard this guy's voice, I was thinking he sounds exactly like Ryan Reynolds. And I went in the comments, and all it says is Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds. We got a first timer right here, y'all. He gonna taste this right okay, quick. Okay, okay. Okay, let, let him see. Mm. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Hey. Oh. I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> I have a big, big, big respect for, for my girl and my relationship. And it's, it has nothing to do with simping. It just has everything to do of if this is the person that you're choosing to be with you for the rest of your life mm -hmm. and you're going to marry her and you're going to have kids with her, right? And you're going to grow old and you're going to die with her. There's a level of respect that you have to attribute to her above other people. Respecting your girlfriend or treating her right is not simping. Simping is when you're putting her on a pedestal and there's an unbalance in the relationship. She knows she can walk all over you and you're scared to put her in place when she does take the piss. Or if you're chasing a woman who doesn't want you. Treating your woman right with respect is not simping. That's what you're meant to do. I'm convinced that this generation of men like men. There's no way you're telling me you like me, you love me, you miss me, but you don't want to take me out. The moment your boys say, yo, we outside, you outside. You don't want to take trips with your girl, but taking trips with next month. If you like boys, just say that. So it sounds to me that she's seeing a guy who spends more time with his friends than he does her, and apparently that makes him gay. Maybe you're just really boring to be around, and maybe he only sees you for one thing. It's not because a man don't want to spend time with you or if he doesn't want you that he's gay. Men nowadays are the worst. I hate how if I bring up a financial situation that I don't have enough money for, he just skips over the subject. Yes, I understand that I'm broke as fuck, but why can't he use his money for it? And they're so sassy about everything. The other day I had a guy tell me that all he wants is a woman who respects his boundaries. And that was the biggest turnoff I have ever heard in my life. He told me that he would never want his woman going outside topless. And I just couldn't understand where he was coming from. So I just called him insecure instead. If you call your ex right now and she answers, I'll give you 20 bucks. He's not calling his ex. Get the <laughs> out. Get the fuck out. No, it's like an easy 20 bucks. No, I don't care. Easiest 20 bucks you ever made in your life. Can I call my ex? Sure. Wait, what do I have to call my ex? Wait, so he can't call his ex, but you can call your ex? Oh. He has to answer? Yeah. Okay, well, I got his number still. <laughs> mm. Hello? Oh. Answered. It's just the 20. <laughs> if this is real, then it's ridiculous. It's one rule for me and another rule for you. And the guy needs to send her exactly where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. 